Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a Mercury retrograde, which is uh, May 5th through June 2nd, 2022. We will be entering post or pre shadow very soon. So, um, this is a general message, so please take what resonates, leave the rest, but it's not your story. Don't try to make it fit. We'll have to wait and see how it plays out. One second. Um, Roles can be reversed, and everything subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect, okay? Um, keep in mind that Mercury retrograde can, this is the, we have four this year, okay? We got an extra Mercury retrograde this year. Typically, we have three, but this year we have four. Mercury is all about communication, internet, collective communication, telepath communication, learning lessons. If you haven't learned a lesson, Mercury Retrograde will bring that lesson back up to your face for you to learn it or to test you to see if you have learned it. So keep that in mind. There's going to be a lot of tests. There's going to be a lot of retries. There could be people trying to come back from your past. Um, don't Be careful with signing contracts. Be careful with getting in relationships or breaking up relationships during Mercury Retrograde because you might end up regretting that after the fact when Mercury Retrograde is over once you get past this post-shadow as well. For me personally, the pre-shadow and post-shadow is the most intense for me. So, let's see what we need to surrender. What does the collective need to surrender for this Mercury retrograde? What do we need to surrender? What do we need to surrender? Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So, we need to surrender to passion. Okay. We also need to surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So it's like not trying to force it. If it's meant to happen, it's going to happen in spirit's timing, in the divine's, the universal time, not in your time. So surrendering things to spirit. It's like, you know, accept the things you cannot change and change the things that you can and have the wisdom to know the difference, right? The serenity prayer. So surrendering things to spirit. Surrendering to setting limits. So if you haven't set those healthy boundaries, right now would be a good time to do so. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So this is what I'm getting. is surrender to passion, like your creative projects, what gets you going, what sparks your interest. Maybe you're an entrepreneurship. Surrender to spirit for, you know, accept the things you cannot change, change the things that you can, but also surrendering to um, setting limits here. Some of you need to set those boundaries. And if you haven't set those boundaries and you haven't surrendered stuff to spirit, if you're trying to, if you're still trying to control stuff and you haven't set those limits and you're not following your passions, that's going to be brought up to you in your face. What else do we surrender? Yes. What I just say, surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals. Back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Surrender it to spirit. Don't try to control it. Surrender it to spirit. Also, surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. I feel like if you are still trying to control people and not surrender things to spirit, you haven't set those boundaries and you're still engaging in drama, you're going to you're gonna have a very hard lesson, very hard lesson to learn with this Mercury retrograde. Okay? Seriously. What else? What else do we need to, what else do we need to know about Mercury retrograde for the collective, please? Lady of the Lake, absolute truth, courage, self-respect, and responsibility. So have you stepped into your power? Are you respecting yourself? Are you respecting others? Have you cleared out the emotional baggage? Have you cleared out the, the clutter in your life in, in your physical world? Do you understand? Are you being loyal to spirit? Are you being loyal to the universe, divine, God, Buddha, Krishna, whomever it is that you believe in? Are you being loyal to that? Are you following? Are you being loyal to yourself or just being... Uh, I'm, not, I'm almost like blissfully, ignorantly loyal to people and places and things that don't really serve you. Right? What else, please? The Grail Knight. Are you still stuck in a romantic illusion? You need to seek the sacred, not the not just the uh, illusion of a relationship. Seek the sacred relationship. Oh, this came out. Yeah, are you taking too many risks or do you need to take a leap of faith? Okay, that's what's being prompted here. What else is coming for this Mercury retrograde? What else? Be careful with being loyal to the wrong things and wrong people. 
keeping, are you still keeping secrets? That's going to come out. Try, are you listening to your intuition? Are you trying to force the hand of divine in, in, instead of letting divine timing happening? What is this keeping secrets about? Yeah, new ideas, work, and creativity. Are you keeping your work quiet? Are you keeping secrets about a relationship? Are you trying, you trusting the new path here? Have you stepped onto the new path yet? That's what's being asked of you this yeah, are you still dealing with people that lie and have bad intentions for you? Do you still feel like there's unfinished business within a situation or relationship? Have you dealt with it? Have you healed? Have you done the inner shadow work? All that's being brought up, this Mercury retrograde, all of it. Anything that you have not healed, any traumas, childhood, relationship, anything that you are hiding, secrets, illusions, what have you, all of that's going to be exposed. With this Mercury retrograde and this um, this black moon, this 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 eclipse that we got going on on the thirtieth, all of that's going to be intensely brought up to the light. What else? What else do we need to expect for this? Secrets, more secrets, but also needing to trust your intuition. You're being taught a lesson about trusting your intuition, not being able to. Not being able to move on from the past. Someone here is secretly not able to move on from the past. And it's going to be. Someone's hella defensive about it. And that's going to be. This lesson's going to be repeated. Yeah. Someone's not working on getting. the Doing the shadow work. Someone also may be losing their job. Someone's acting very impulsively here. And being defensive over third parties. If there's something that's done in the dark. Trust and believe me. It will be brought to light. This black, uh, black moon eclipse. And this Mercury retrograde. I promise you. If there's anything that you are hiding. Or your person. Or someone around you is hiding. I promise to you. I promise you. That that will. That will be brought up. That will be shown. You will find out the truth. Or someone will find out the truth about you. I promise you. So if you got something that you're hiding. You might want to come clean now. Right now. So buckle up buttercups. It's going to be. Um. Interesting. What else? Com competition and drama. Needing to release the devil. Stop fighting with the devil here. Uh, stop stop fighting for a toxic connection. So a lot of y'all are going to end up not in relationships because those relationships don't serve you. If it doesn't serve you, it's getting demolished out of your life. It really is. Needing to release illusions. Okay? Release deceit or ill intent. Release the toxicity here. Your soul is begging you to do so. And if you haven't done that yet, you will be forced to do so. Yep. Not learning from past mistakes. That will be, light will be shown on that. Can't move on from the past. That will be shown. Someone's very deceptive and cheating. Someone's lying about being single when they're not. Someone's getting karma. Karma is big right now. Okay. Because of that full moon, um, that pink full moon in a Libra we just had. Someone's still a fuck boy or fuck girl. Someone needs to step into their power here. Someone's being careless and reckless with, with people, places, and things. Secrets are going to be revealed, I'm telling you. Someone's going to get communication. Someone could be get communicating with the law enforcement as well. Someone's been very manipulative and playing a lot of mind games. They're going to be rejected. Someone's getting karma for this. They have Because they have no remorse or regret. They're going to be put into a, a spiritual pow pow or timeout. Okay, seriously. What's behind this? Faith. Yep. Unfinished business, psychic intuition, receptive, and quest and love. Someone feels like they don't, they don't, they have unfinished business. Somebody might be coming back around from your past. They feel like there's, un, if you feel like there's unfinished business with somebody, that person may be coming back around or you might be going back around to this person. I know what you're going to say in the comments. I ain't never going back. If, the, if that motherfucker tries to come at me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I hear you. But when these energies hit, you might be acting a little bit differently. So please keep that in mind. If you get the urge to call your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend or ex-husband or ex-wife, hold up a second. Think about it. Remember this reading. And realize that this energy is maybe hitting you a little bit harder than, than most. Okay? But again, buckle up, buttercups, because it's going to be intense. Let's see. What else do we need to know? 
what else do I need to know? So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, really any sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, any fixed sign. So Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really any sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn too. Let's see. All right, this one came out. Loving, loving is its own reward. This is a lesson we're also going to learn. The very act of loving is the benefit of the risk. We all want to be loved back. We all want to be supported. But when we, but when you grow up, you see that it has nothing to do with how the person who receives your love reacts and all about you just being willing to open your heart in this dangerous world. Be a gangster and love the fuck out of somebody today or someone today. Expect nothing in return. Are you creating relation, relationship, relational debts by doing stuff for other people, loving other people, and expecting them to have the same heart as you? Be careful with that. Don't have any expectations. And if this person doesn't treat you right, then obviously they don't respect you. No is a complete sentence. Set limits. Remember, very beginning of the reading. This one also says, in order to love who you are, you can't hate the experience that shaped you. Anything truly cool about you was created from the life you've lived. Remember that when you start to wind down the shame spiral, no time is wasted, no love is wasted, no tears are wasted, no breath is wasted. You being you is important and every single thing that made you is a value. Tell shame to suck it. Exactly. What else please? Maybe you literally, what? Maybe you literally can even, what? Maybe you literally can even, I don't know what that means, but we're going to read it. Think you can't even? Slow your eye roll, step back, and give it another think. Guess what? Chances are you probably can't even with a way better attitude and some love in your heart. Today, if you catch yourself feeling like basic bitching out on someone, take a deep breath, Call on all your hood rat angels. Remember that you and all beings are tiny specks of the divine and surprise yourself with how you literally just evened. So if you feel like I can't even right now, you can. You can. What else, please? Own your awesome and stay humble as fuck. This is also some more lessons. List five things that you love about yourself. Now list five ways you're just like every other human who's ever lived. Go forth, you fabulous little snowflake, and be like everyone else with your unique bad self. Um, it's like, you know, not thinking lessons about not thinking that you're better than anybody else. You're just like everybody else, but you have unique qualities that are just as awesome as everybody else's unique qualities. So it's really about staying humble as fuck. Are you humble? Are you prideful? Right? Let me get some tarot. Let's see. What else are we learning? This Mercury retrograde, please. What else are we learning? We're learning about jealousy and stability and standing on our own ground. Not being dependent on... A excuse me, about not being dependent on other people, being loving and caring and coming from a place of heart. We're also learning about very painful endings here. That could be relationships, family dynamics, a friend group, coworkers, endings of jobs, um, also endings on the internet, I just heard. But it's also about recovery from very painful endings with, and staying true to ourselves and true to our heart as well. What else are we learning? Moving forward, learning how to move on from things that no longer serve us, from people, places, things that don't serve us anymore. Yeah, and collaborating with others, finding our spiritual, our soul tribe here and collaborating with them versus staying with people who are petty and immature. It's about equal give and take here and not dealing with ego, be people who are very egoic, right? And being very logical and straight to the point as well. Knowing when we have the sort of truth here. Law may get involved here. Be careful. So if someone's driving too fast, so someone might get a ticket. Learning to let go of uncooperative um, people or situations. What else, please? Yeah, rejection is God protection. Staying on our grind. 
Okay, so coming things coming to a full stop though, and rejecting of offers that just don't serve you, and getting full clarity about secrets or illusions, or somebody being very sexually overstimulated. I don't know why that's coming through, but it's coming through like that. All right, let's see. Let's get some guidance. What guidance do we have, please, regarding this reading? What guidance do we have? Money. Earn your own money, then buy what you want. So it's about your stability. You need a love bomb. Don't let stupid heads get you down. They don't deserve you and your precious heart. You are courageous, smart, and kind. You are worthy, ingenious, and capable. You are the best. Keep that in mind, right? Then you're you're already cute. Focus less on appearances, more on character. Acting right makes you even more adorable. So yeah, getting out of this like image or self-absorption as well. Something that brought to my attention here. I have a favorite quote by Carl Jung. Okay, and it goes, knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Let me repeat that again. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. So deal with your shit. Right? Buckle up, buttercups. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but it's going to be fucking worth it. All right, that has been your reading for Mercury Retrograde, May 10th through june 2nd 2022 i love you guys take care of yourself don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel welcome to newbies thank you for the returner the the loyal subs uh subscribers i really love you guys love you so much take care of yourself till next time